Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. This episode is powered by Poddex. Thank you for tuning in today. You are now listening to That Will Never Work podcast with your host, Maurice Chisholm. Hey, everybody. How are you today? I hope you are doing fairly well today. So today we're going to talk about uh, something that I had learned in school and whether or not I was taking things seriously or not. I had taken a professional development class, and in that class, um, I realized that for some time I had I was not taking things as serious or concentrating on things as much as I probably could have or should have. So one of the things that um, I have to say or acknowledge today in taking that class. Now, you were thinking, hey, Maurice, you know, you you worked in corporate America, you've owned your own business. So, you know, you would think that I would be on point with some things. And you're right. I, I, I'm on point with some things, but not everything. And some of you may be dealing with the exact same challenges that I have. So today I'm going to express to you or talk to you a little bit about one of the things that I realized was very essential. And we'll go through some parts of this over the next couple episodes. So uh, if I had decided to uh, create a document, you know, one to go back into the workforce or, or two to, to give someone to someone so they could review and, and uh, maybe uh, refer me to someone uh, for a client or, or a, a, some type of referral situation, um, consulting or coaching perspective, you know, one of the things that we don't de- really deal with so much is our resume. And keep in mind, I have not really written a resume all out fully from with experience and and my objective and things like that. I have not written one in over 12 to 14, 15 years. And one of the things that I had realized because I had not written one in so long, there there were some key skills or uh, education or job experiences that I had not put on my resume because I had not reviewed it in such a long time. How about yourself? Have you reviewed something as simple as your resume? It doesn't matter whether or not you have worked at this po- in this particular position for two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years. You actually are thinking about uh, retiring from this particular job. But one of the things I would like to uh, suggest to you today is that the importance of keeping up with what you have accomplished over your time of employment and or any other type of achievements that you have received over your lifetime. What was important for me uh, as I had to review this uh, resume, because I had to do a resume, create a resume. One of the things I had realized that um, one, for one of the things that I was a little apprehensive about was including some educational uh, um, moments in my life. I was not one that had graduated high school and went right into college. No, I did not. I waited a little while. And so in that, I was a little embarrassed as I was writing. it. I'm like, hey, you know what? This is what I was used to be embarrassed about when I was younger. All right, fine, Maurice, we're over that. We're back in school now. Let's get this thing done. But keep in mind that you do have at least one degree. You do, you have uh, your at least your associate's degree. So you did actually go back. You did finish. All you want to do right now is achieve your next level of education, which is your bachelor's degree. 
So in writing out my education and my um so, and paying attention to what I have been uh, apprehensive of, uh, apprehensive about, which is education, or one of the pieces of it is education, I, and I start to analyze the rest of my resume and everything that I had accomplished, I realize that I do not um, write down everything that I have done over a period of time, and we're going to get into that. Uh, a little later on in another episode about some of the components and how to write the resume and how it should look or, you know, just from my perspective, it's not, I'm not going to say that is this is the right the way to do it, but this is just the, um, the way, some of the things I was taught along with some pointers that I was point that was pointing out to me in writing my resume. So, you know, as you sit down and, and review your job description, as you sit down and review your educational background, as you sit down and review what soft skills and hard skills you have acquired over your adulthood as far as working, right, over the last 10, 15, 25 years, what is it that that applies today? How have you grown today? Have you seen how you have matured and um how things as you write it down actually shows how much you have done and now you are ready to be promoted into another situation but have you included everything that you have done that is relevant to one your job and or the next job you're looking forward to you might say hey you know what i want to uh, uh, retire from this position but you know i have two three years maybe i can apply for this one that's just a grade above uh, you know, five thousand, ten thousand dollars more a year. You know, maybe I can go out a little bit more on top and feel better about my work experiences because I've taken the time to review what I have done, and and now it's time for me to acknowledge it and be um, rewarded for it in one way, shape, or form. Also, keep in mind that, you know, you're just because you are in a position that doesn't always mean that your supervisor, manager and so forth and so on are aware of your total daily experiences. So let's just keep that in mind. Sometimes it is better for you to take a look at that and and write it down on a piece of paper. So those that 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 um, oversee what's going on on a day-to-day basis, you can let them know, hey, you know what? I have room to grow. I have uh, room to explore. I have way more experiences than what I had come in to this position for. Keep it in mind that for any and every job, you will be trained, retrained, reevaluated as you move forward within any type of position anyway. So again, as we go over your resume and look at components to it, Let's uh, uh, keep in mind that there's always room to grow. There's always room to mature. And it's time for you to reevaluate who you are and where you are in your life. Are there any barriers that's holding you back from achieving the greatest height that you can get? Climbing that next rung on the on a ladder. You know, reaching for the stars and the sky, you know, the sun, whatever it is, what is it that's holding you back? I can tell you for me, like I said, my education was one of those pieces that was holding me back. And to some degree, it holds me back today. So so are you ready to take the next step as far as revisiting your resume, revisiting your experiences and now putting it on display for any and everyone to to see it, to be showcased for you to kind of pat yourself on the back to say, hey, I am a marketable individual that can take you and your company or, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm going to leave it the way it is, you and your company to another level, either me being an employee or me being a contracted uh, individual. You're my client, I'm your client, whatever it is, are you capable Are you qualified 
to do whatever is asked of you. I'll talk to you on the next episode. Thank you. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.